I'm Ashutosh Ganguly, so I started um, as Ashutosh Ganguly, and I'm st I still am Ashutosh Ganguly. But um, before I was Ash King, uh, I'm from London, born and brought up in London. My father was a singer, so I don't know how many people believe this, but like your first hero um, as a boy sometimes is your father. You're like, oh, I want to be like him. You feel like he's invincible, like you know, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, my father didn't want me to go into music, although music in my house is just a normal thing. Uh, while he was teaching people music, I used to sit outside the room and used to listen um, from the age of like one. So I was singing from the age of one and a half. And um, yeah, I'm saying um a lot because I'm not good at this. This is my first time speaking. So growing up in London, I went through a huge identity crisis because I didn't know if I was Indian, if I was British. And um, you feel like when your relatives come over from India, you're like, okay, you're Indian. But then you had uh, maybe people in England who are, you know, racist or prejudiced saying, uh, you know, you're not, you're not English, you're, you're not British, go back to your country and things like that. So I went through a lot of these things. Uh, thankfully, I was saved by music because every time I went home, so every time I went home, I was back into the traditional uh, music uh, atmosphere and it just gave me that hope of who I really was and who I discovered who I was later. Um, so I got into singing eventually because of all the friends I had in school and places like that telling me that, oh, actually you've got a good voice. and. Um, I don't know how many of you guys feel this, but sometimes when you hear something from your friends, you kind of listen to it more than when your own family tells you. I think ghar ki murgi dal barabar, right? So um, it encouraged me a lot. And I think encouragement was a huge part of me pursuing my dreams. And uh, which is why I also try to encourage people because I'm also a fan of music and I want to hear new music all the time. So. When I started singing, I was encouraged to go to, into uh, R&B singing and gospel music because that was the kind of music I was listening to and um, that was the basis, gospel music was the basis of R&B so it really helped me to understand the genre. And uh, as I was getting older, I noticed my friends, like they got into jobs, they left, you know, they did uni or they left school and went into jobs and I was like, what am I doing? You know, is this just an expensive hobby for me that I just love doing? I'm not making a living out of it. So that's when I realized there's three stages to this. There's talent, there's skill talent, and there's consistent skill talent. And consistent skill talent is what you require to be a professional artist. Otherwise, everybody's an artist anyway. You know, what's an artist? We express ourselves through something. When you do an impression of somebody, uh, you're doing an impression of how they express themselves when they walk or how they sit or how they speak. So to do that professionally, I started to learn that, okay, it's not just about singing. It's about how to work with people, how to manage uh, the people around you, how to manage projects, how to manage egos, uh, how to manage your own ego, um, things like that. So then um, while I was in London, um, I was just trying to do independent music and uh, just as a starting thing. And while I was doing that, I decided I needed a manager. I said, I need a manager. Every artist has a manager. So uh, I met this guy who started managing me and um, he somehow, luckily, he was standing in a hotel lobby and there was a conversation going on on a table and he overheard the conversation. And coincidentally, they were doing an album with A. Rahman a Nokia album. So he just goes to the table and says, oh, I've got an artist, managers. Like he sings in Hindi, he speaks in Hindi. He's, you know, Ash King, he's great. By that time, I thought of this name Ash King as a stage name because Ashutosh Ganguly was very long for people to say generally. By that time, my name became Ash anyway. Um, it's a bit of a mouthful, Ashutosh Ganguly, but Ash King just kind of just rolls out off the tongue. So he said, I've got this guy. And uh, so, I, so he calls me and says, do you want to meet Hey Rahman? I was like, how do you know that name? Because this guy's a total non-Indian. I'm like, so he's like, do you want to meet him or not? I said, yeah, of course. 
So I went like one and a half hour. I traveled to the studio in London. I walked in thinking he's not going to be there. Like it's going to be his cousins, neighbors, you know, <laughs> you know, friends. And he's like, but he was standing there in the room. So I thought I was dreaming at that point. I was like, oh, this isn't real, man. This is not real. How can I, who've done nothing in my life, literally meet someone who's like, if you, if there was a mountain. If, if music was a mountain in our country, the top would be Air Rahman. You know, it's, it's smiling as well. Like, that's how close we are. So meeting him, I was like, oh. So I just did a confession. I said, uh, uh, I don't sing Hindi. I don't speak Hindi, uh, but I love singing and stuff. He started laughing. He said, what can you sing then? I said, look, I just sing R&B music. He said, just sing a couple of lines. So I sang a couple of lines. He said, can you put some Hindi words in this? I said, I don't do it. And I was a bit embarrassed because that time I had just listened to 90s Bollywood. And I was like, Janam, Jane, Jah, he won't like that, you know. So I was like, oh, I can't. Then he's look, even I don't speak Hindi. And when he said that, I was, I was like, no way. Um, and he's like, look, do you want to sing a song? And I said, oh. this was, I was working in a call center at the time, selling AOL. I worked from the age of 15. I've worked in McDonald's for three years. Um, I was a waiter. Uh, so I've been a salesman. Um, the f like, most of my life I'd worked in retail jobs. And then all of a sudden I'm working in a call center. Now hi, do you want to buy an upgrade? And then Aaron I'm always saying, do you want to sing a song in a film? So this was weird. I was like, is this a joke? Like, what's going on? So then I ended up in his house in Chennai. And um, I sang this song called Dil Gira Dafatan for the film Delhi 6. After I sang that song, I was like, does this mean I'm a singer? Am I a singer now? And when the credit came for the song, it was, I said, oh, my name's Ashutosh Ganguly. Because I felt finally I can use my name. Because it's India where my name's accepted, it's normal. And he's, oh, no, no, Ash King sounds good. And that's where Ash King really began. So um, after that, I went through this massive like confusion, like, am I a singer? So I've gone back to England now and I'm like, am I a singer? Because I've sung a song now in a film, does that make me singer? What, what does a singer do? How do they stand? How do they dress? What do they do? I was like, oh my God, this is weird. And um, two years later, so two years I had this confusion. Two years later, I went to um, Kolkata, so where my father's from. And uh, he was a heart patient, so I made sure he took his medicines. And while I was there, a young Arijit Singh, who was working for Pritam, uh, called me to, in, uh, to Bombay and said, Ash, can you come and sing a song in Bombay? And that song was I Love You. And, um, <laughs> and for five days, I was there in Bombay for the first time as an adult. And I sang I Love You, Tiamo, and Auntie G. And I just left. And I didn't, I was like, and this song hadn't released. So now I'm in England thinking, okay, so that means I must be a singer, right? Because I've sung a few more songs now. <laughs> and um, people were treating me different. Like I'd never been treated like that in my life. And then one thing led to another. My first booking came along for a gig in Dubai. And I, the way they treated me, I thought that they thought I was someone else. Because I just didn't believe it. I was like, and I didn't know what to do. And still up until now, I'm not a conventional public figure, celebrity guy. Um, I just love singing. I'm a fan of music. Um, I can sit and listen to music all day. So that's the whole Ash King and the Ashdosh Ganguly thing. Um, then I went through some struggles. The struggles were that people started criticizing me for saying, oh, yeah, but you're Hindi, Hindi Saini and this, that and the other. You know, if you sing more, if you learn Hindi, you'll get more songs. Because I sang some songs, they didn't keep my voice and stuff like that. So I said, oh no, man, they found me out. Now, you know what, this is it. Let me just, you know that, that show where you, where you say, okay, I'll just take this money and I'll leave kind of thing. Um, not that I made any money, but like I was just there, I was like, uh, you know, that's it. So then what happens is, I wrote something, which is people don't see struggle, they see results. Because if you saw where I came from, working in McDonald's, cleaning toilets, 
for three years to sing on a stage in front of like 20,000 people singing my songs back to me. It's a, it, I could never dream of being there because no one had ever done what I've done. Normally when you want to become something, you're like, I want to be like that, Sachin Tendulkar. I want to be like, you know, Pritham, or I want to be like so-and-so. I couldn't say that because no one had gone from England to India and sung in a different language. Now I do shows for two and a half hours in a language I don't speak. But no one's going to go from here and do a song for, in English for two, uh, a concert in two and a half hours at the level that I do it here. So I realized that people will not see your struggle generally. They'll just see the result of what you give. And it's kind of a, uh, it's a harsh reality, but you kind of have to embrace it and think, right, you know what, that's fine. They don't understand me, that's fine, but what, what can I do? What, how can I take this in a positive way and better myself? And um, I thought, how can I better myself now? And then lockdown happened. And in lockdown, I was like, uh-oh, I'm non-functional now. I don't have any... Yeah, I can't sing now. I can't go to a studio. I have no value. And um, I, to, I like, in lockdown, I became BJP. Bartan Jaru Pocha. You know what I mean? I was like, you know what I mean? The cleaning and everything. Back to my McDonald's days. And I uh, started cooking, started going on like online and seeing what video can I look the, the, the recipe from. And I, wanted, I started cooking and stuff. Then I was like, if, you know, tomorrow, if my career ends or if I don't exist tomorrow, what's my legacy? And I saw my legacies like songs like I Love You, T.M.O., Barish, Andiji, whatever you guys know. But then how much of you guys, how much of, do you know about Ashutosh Ganguly in those songs? And how much do you know about Ash King? So where I see myself going now is letting people know who Ashutosh Ganguly is through my music. So Ash King's always going to be there. It's a fun name. But um, what's my essence? And my essence is Ashutosh Ganguly. That's who I am. So I hope that the future music that I release, you guys can, um, if you're interested, you can, it's a documentation of who I am, who I was when I'm not here. And uh, maybe it's an inspiration to anyone else to be themselves and uh, express yourself. Because there's three stages to being a professional artist. There's talent, there's skill talent, and there's consistent skill talent. But that's the professional side of it. If you want to be happy and feel successful, you want to be able to say, people knew who I was as a person through my work. You're not a robot. You're a, you're a human being with a personality, with experiences, with feelings. So my next step is to be more myself in my songs. And to do that, I have to do independent music. And that's what independent music is about. So when I say support independent music, I mean support people, not just the music, but support people to be themselves, express themselves, and um, in a way that, you know, they can tell you who they are. And that's it.